Okay, in lesson 7.2, we will be adding and subtracting polynomials. Um, you can add polynomials using a vertical or a horizontal method uh, to combine like terms. I will pretty much be demonstrating the horizontal um, method, so um, let's get started. All right. Now we're going to be adding them. So to add polynomials, you want to add like terms. You can use vertical horizontal method. Oof, I will not be showing you the, ver the vertical. Um, I'm actually going to be showing you this, but not with as many steps. So stay tuned. Let's just go right out of this. All right. So when we're doing this, all right, notice that this is adding. And so it's kind of like we're distributing a positive one. It's kind of silly, but we can almost let go of all these parentheses. I guess they were writing them to let you know that that's what they are. So I, I would look at this as negative 4x plus 9 plus 6x minus 14. Now, underline like terms, right? Um, or you can circle them. Remember, we used to circle them with the sign in front of it. All right, now we want to put these in standard form. So in this case, the variable would go first. So we have the negative 4x plus 6x. So we have a positive. 2x, then we have a negative 14 and a 9, so we'll have a negative 5. And that's in standard form. So make sure you're putting them in standard form. Okay? All right. Uh, moving right along. Why don't you try number 14? What is the simplified form for number 14? Um, or 15? Okay, if I look at this, I have squared exponent of one, exponent of zero, squared, one, zero. So these first two terms become the leading term, all right? Then the next one, and finally the constant. So these were in order, makes it pretty easy. So one plus negative one is zero. So the x squared term disappeared. Um, 3x plus 6x, is 9x and 5 minus 4 is a positive 1. And 9x plus 1 becomes the simplified term. All right. So I have squared, cubed, and 0. So the cubed is my first one. So I kind of am working with the standard form and like terms all at the same time. So I'm underlining them. Instead of just underlining the first term and finding the like term, I'm first evaluating the highest degree because I know that that has to go first. So my t cubed goes first. Then t squared would be my second term. Up oh, here's a t squared as well. There is no t, but there is a t here that will go third. And then finally, the constant, and I underline it four times. So now take the ones that are underlined one time. This is just a method of keeping it straight. Um, so three t squared, Minus 2t squared just gives me, oops, it's cubed, not squared, silly Kleinman. All right, so this is t3, 3t cubed, oh my goodness, and negative 2t cubed. All right, then we'll go to the squared. We have 1 plus 2, so we'll have 3t squared. Oof. Then we have this t, right? That's our third one. So plus, so descending order of the variable, and there was nothing to add to it, so it's okay and then minus three. So t cubed plus three t squared plus seven t minus three. All right. Now, to subtract a polynomial, we want to add its opposite. To find the opposite of a polynomial, multiply each of its terms by negative 1. So this is a little different. So since this is subtraction, it's like we're distributing a negative 1. So we do have to take that step to rewrite um, this. And I won't, again, I'm not going to line these up like this. I don't like doing it. I just don't. I just don't. All right. You can. You can look in your textbook or. Um, so I'm just going to rewrite these. So the first one becomes g minus 4 and then negative one times three is negative three g, negative one times negative six is plus six. So notice how what's inside the parentheses when it, when it is after subtraction is the opposite of what it was. It was positive g, now it's negative. Positive three g, now it's negative three g. 
was negative six, now it's positive six. So now first term, right, was the variable with, the, with an exponent of one and then the constant. So one plus negative three is going to be negative two g. Negative four plus six is plus two. Okay. Change colors here. Um, I'll let you do number 18 and I'll go down to number 19. So I'm gonna rewrite. So the opposite of a negative three is a positive three x squared. Positive x and positive eight. I changed the sign because they all precede the negative. Now, the exponent of two becomes my first term. The exponent of one is my second and the constant is my third, okay? So here, three minus one is two x squared. Then I do my x, which has nothing to combine or add, and then the negative five and the positive eight is a positive three, okay? And finally, this one, let's rewrite it. So k squared plus six k cubed minus four minus the five k cubed. So what I'm doing, it's kind of like distributing a negative one, okay? Uh, negative seven k and a positive three k. This is a really important step when it's preceding the subtraction. Okay, so um, here's a degree of two, degree of three, degree of zero, degree of one. So I wanna start with three, it's gonna be my first term. And then two will be my second term. Then one, degree of one, this K will be my third term. And finally, two, three, four will be my fourth term. So I can take my first two, six minus five and get K cubed. Then my second terms, three and one become four K squared. It's just a lot of keeping track is really what it boils down to. Um, and I'm, notice how I'm also putting it into standard form by descending order of the variable. So I'm going three, then two, then one. So negative seven K and there's nothing to like term or add combine with it. And then finally the constant again, nothing to add with it. So um, this is been adding polynomials and your introduction to polynomials. So be sure to come to class with any questions that you may have. Okay, this is the lesson 7.2 vocabulary and concept check. Please let me know which one you are responding to and provide your answer with complete sentences. If you have any questions, please leave them in the next prompt and we can address those tomorrow in class. Have a great night. See you in class tomorrow.